Welcome, this video is going to cover calcium homeostasis. So calcium levels in the body, especially in the blood and in the extracellular spaces around our cells is critically important. So it needs to be maintained for our body to function. Somewhere between 8 and 10 milligrams per deciliter is considered normal blood calcium. So if the calcium levels in your blood ever drop to a critically low level, the body's going to need to respond. Now you might think of calcium as needed for your bones, but actually calcium is critically important for a function of the brain and the heart. Little cardiac myocytes and neurons need calcium in order to have action potentials, to contract, and in order to release neurotransmitter. Even your skeletal myocytes and your muscles need uh, calcium in order to function. So whenever calcium gets too low, how does the body regulate it and increase it back towards normal? It's actually the cells of the parathyroid glands located in the neck that are responsible for calcium regulation. They're actually found embedded in four little clumps on the thyroid gland. And these parathyroid gland cells have a special little calcium uh, sensitive receptor which can sense the levels of calcium in the extracellular fluid. As blood calcium levels get low, these cells release more PTH through exocytosis. The parathyroid hormone then travels throughout the body, targeting various tissues. One of the primary targets of PTH will be the bones. So the little cells in bone are either building bone or chewing up the bone. You might remember osteoclasts and osteoblasts. Osteoblasts will build bone and osteoclasts chew up the bone. In the case of PTH signaling, the osteoblasts will become less active. The osteoclast will become more active. This will release stored up calcium from the bone into the bloodstream, which will help increase blood calcium. Again, PTH uh, changes the activity of these bone chewing and bone building cells so that more calcium is released from the bone matrix into the bloodstream, helping raise blood calcium levels. Another important target of PTH will be the kidneys. The kidneys are responsible for filtering things in blood and then it can remove those from the body in urine. So since calcium is in your blood and calcium is very small, it easily filters into the kidneys. The kidney cells then must reabsorb the calcium and keep the calcium in the body. PTH is critically important to tell those cells to keep the calcium that is filtered. So as PTH levels go up, the little kidney cells know to keep more calcium, in essence reabsorbing it, adding it back to the bloodstream, and helping raise and keep our blood calcium levels high enough. So whenever PTH levels are high, the kidneys are reabsorbing more calcium, and less calcium ever makes it into the urine, and so the urine would have low calcium levels. Another important target for PTH is going to be the intestines. Since we get a little bit of calcium usually from our digested food, the intestines become an important source for blood calcium. So as food is digested inside the intestines, the calcium is released, then the calcium has to be absorbed by the little intestinal cells. Otherwise, it ends up going out of the body in the feces. So PTH signals to those little intestinal cells to get the calcium from the digested food and absorb it into the body. This then adds the calcium to the bloodstream and helps raise calcium levels in the body. An important thing to know about PTH signaling in the intestines is it requires the help of vitamin D. You might think of vitamin D as something that uh, comes from sunlight and your skin and you'd be right, but vitamin D actually is activated in the kidneys to a hormone called calcitriol. And as PTH levels go up, the kidneys make more calcitriol from vitamin D. And this uh, means that as PTH goes up, calcitriol goes up. And it's actually calcitriol uh, acting on the intestines to tell the intestinal cells to get that calcium. So just remember vitamin D and PTH are important for the intestines. So remember, whenever calcium levels get low, the parathyroid glands are going to broadcast PTH signal, which will help our bones know to release calcium, our kidneys to reabsorb calcium, and our intestines to absorb calcium from our diet. This helps bring our blood calcium levels back up to normal, maintaining homeostasis.